Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Nanoparticles Synthesis, and, Applications The materials, that have dimensions from, 1 nanometer to, 100 nanometers, are called, nanoparticles. Richard Feynman, was the first scientist, to predict about, nanomaterials. Let us observe, a cube, having surface area of, 6 centimeters square. If we cut this cube, horizontally, and, laterally, 8 small cubes are formed. Their surface area is, 12 centimeters square. On further cutting, horizontally, and, laterally, 27 cubes are formed. Now, the surface area, of all these cubes, put together will be, 18 centimeters square. In this manner, if a bulk substance is cut into smaller pieces, then, the surface area increases. The following examples provide interesting information. One human hair is, approximately, 80,000 nanometers thick. DNA molecule, is about, 2.5 nanometers wide. If we keep, 10 hydrogen atoms, side by side, then, it would be equal to, 1 nanometer. The diameter of a, red blood cell is about, 5000 nanometers. Carbon-carbon bond lengths, or, the space between the atoms, in a molecule, will be in the range of, 0.12, to, 0.15 nanometers. The nanomaterials exhibit, totally different properties, when compared to, bulk materials. One of the main reasons, for the nanomaterials, to exhibit, unique properties, is the, availability of, larger surface area. Nano gold particles are, excellent catalysts, whereas, bulk gold is, inert. Nano silver particles, exhibit, antibacterial property, whereas, bulk silver, does not. There are, two types of approaches, for the synthesis, of nanoparticles. One is, top-down method. In this method, a bulk material will be converted to, nanoparticles. This method involves, cutting, carving, and, molding. Bulk material, is cut into, nanoparticles. This is, top-down approach. The second method is, bottom-up approach. In this method, atoms, or, molecules, will be held by, much stronger covalent forces, to form, nanoparticles. Atoms, or molecules, will be held by, stronger covalent forces, to form, nanoparticles. This is, bottom-up approach. Nanoparticles can be synthesized by the following methods. Sol gel method of preparation of nanoparticles. Sol is a colloid, in which, in a liquid medium, very small solid particles are dispersed. Gel is semi-solid colloid, in which the very small solid particles, are linked to form a network. In the sol gel method, the starting material is usually a metal oxide or metal chloride and is dissolved in a suitable solvent to form the corresponding solution. On heating with constant stirring, the starting material undergoes hydrolysis and polymerization to form discrete nanoparticles. As a result a sol that is a colloid is formed. The evaporation of solvent from the sol leads to the formation of gel. Transformation of gel to other products depends up on the process adopted. Drying of the solvent leads to the formation of zero gel. Zero gel is a solid that is formed by the removal of solvent from a sol at ambient temperature. Supercritical drying of gel yields aerogel. Aerogel is highly porous, low dense and a low conducting material. 
Supercritical drying is a method in which the solvent is removed from the gel above the critical temperature and critical pressure of the dispersion medium. Spinning Followed by heat treatment, that is, heating followed by annealing in a furnace gives a thin film of nanoparticles. Spinning of the sol Followed by heating in a furnace Gives a ceramic fiber Evaporation of the solvent And subsequent heating Gives a dense particle Sol, that is, the colloid containing the dispersed nanoparticles, on drying the dispersion medium And then calcination Gives a powder of nanoparticles in a nutshell, all these methods can be visualized as Formation of zero gel by the evaporation of the solvent Supercritical drying gives zero gel Spinning followed by heat treatment Spinning followed by heating Drying and calcination Chemical vapor deposition process, essentially, chemical vapor deposition process, involves, exposing the substrate, to some volatile substances, which may react, with substrate, or, undergo chemical reactions, on the substrate, to form, a very thin layer of, nanoparticles, on the surface of the substrate. Reaction tube Furnace Quartz boat, substrate Volatile reactants Heating of the furnace to, 720 degrees centigrade Formation of nanoparticles Chemical vapor deposition process can be accomplished by the following reactions. They are pyrolysis, oxidation, reduction, and compound formation. In the following example for each category is shown. Pyrolysis of silane yield, silicon nanoparticles, with the elimination of hydrogen gas. Silane in the furnace at elevated temperature. Undergo pyrolysis to yield silicon nanoparticles with the elimination of hydrogen gas. Oxidation of silane give silicon dioxide nanoparticles with the liberation of hydrogen gas. Silane, oxygen. Silane, undergo oxidation, at high temperature, to form, silicon dioxide nanoparticles, with the liberation of, hydrogen gas. Molybdenum hexafluoride, on reduction with, hydrogen, form, molybdenum nanoparticles, with the elimination of, HF. Molybdenum hexafluoride, hydrogen. In the hot furnace, reduction of molybdenum hexafluoride with hydrogen takes place to give molybdenum nanoparticles with the elimination of HF. Silicon tetrachloride, on reaction with methane, form silicon carbide nanoparticles with the elimination of HCl. Silicon tetrachloride, methane. Undergo reaction, in the hot furnace, to form, silicon carbide nanoparticles, with liberation of, HCl. Arc discharge method, in this method, in a quartz chamber, 
graphite electrodes are fitted, and, connected to the power source. On application of electric power, that is, 70 amperes at, 18 volts, approximately, small portion of the anode evaporates, and will be deposited, on the cathode, as nanoparticles. Quartz chamber. Graphite is used as, cathode, and, anode. Power source. Application of electric power. Arc. Evaporation, at the surface of the anode. Deposition of nanoparticles, on the cathode. Laser ablation method. In this method, laser pulses ablate, a carbon target. Helium, or, argon, are allowed to flow through the chamber, to carry the nanoparticles, into the copper collector. The process of, removal of, particles, from the surface of a material, is called, ablation. Reaction tube furnace, substrate, copper collector, furnace is heated to, 1200 degrees centigrade, the laser is allowed to hit the substrate, as a result, nanoparticles come out from the substrate, inert gases, are passed through the reaction tube, to carry the nanoparticles, into the copper collector, coprecipitation method, in this method, known mass of, two different raw materials, are dissolved, in the suitable solvents, separately, in the, stoichiometric proportion. In the next step, two solutions are mixed. Addition of, an appropriate precipitating agent, at proper pH, to the solution of, raw materials, yields, crude precipitate. Pure precipitate is formed, after repeatedly washing the, crude precipitate. Breaking of the, pure precipitate gives, nanoparticles. Starting material, 1, and, 2. Both are dissolved, separately, in suitable solvents. As a result, solutions of, starting material 1, and, 2, are formed. Now, both the solutions are mixed. Then, a capping agent, at an appropriate pH, is added. A molecule, containing, a polar head, and, non-polar tail, that is amphiphilic, is called, capping agent. Examples for capping agents. Polyvinyl alcohol. Polyethylene glycol. And. EDTA. After the addition of capping agent, at an appropriate pH, formation of the precipitate, in the solution, takes place. Then, separation of the precipitate, by centrifugation, is carried out. This results, in the formation of, crude precipitate. Repeated washing of the crude precipitate, yields, pure precipitate. Finally, breaking of the, pure precipitate, gives, nanoparticles. Applications of nanotechnology, are in the following areas. Medicine and healthcare. Nano devices can destroy cancer cells. By using nano gold particles, DNA sequence can be found. Buckyball exhibits antioxidant activity by binding to free radicals. Biomolecules can be labeled by nanomaterials to understand biochemistry and physiology. Nano devices are useful in eye surgery. Nanoparticles of titanium oxide offer very good UV protection from sunlight. Hence, these are used in sunscreen lotions. In the power sector, nanotechnology has important applications. Performance of semiconductors and LEDs can be improved by using nanomaterials. Batteries made with nanomaterials last long. In the field of electronics, nanomaterials are widely used for the better performance of the devices. High-speed microprocessors and enhanced memory devices can be fabricated using nanomaterials. In the area of information technology, quantum computers, containing the hardware, comprising of nanomaterials, perform very well. The other applications, of nanotechnology are, in the areas of, aerospace, construction, 
packaging, filtration, catalysis, and automobile components. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.